Music is so good. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Do you have to give Maki a present? Yeah, let's give her a present. Apparently she likes berets, and she also likes boba tea. I'll give her a beret and see what she thinks about it. Got a minute? Didn't think I would get something like this from you. I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? Is that good? Hey! Okay, that's good. I think that's good. Hey, Maki, I noticed all those weapons in your lab. Do you know how to use all of them? Did I upset her again? Sorry. She's blushing a little bit. Yeah, I can tell. You can tell very, very lightly, but she is blushing there a little bit. She is blushing a very a little bit there. I'm sorry. Did I ask something wrong? So what? Not really. I just think it's strange that you keep asking me about more questions. Depending on the situation, my weapons change. I don't know how to use them all. Hmm. Uh, is that right? I just stealthy weapons when I think of assassinations. That's true. We use us too, but mostly use knives. Also poisons, sniper rifles, ju jujitsu, bombs. Huh? Bombs. For assassination? Okay. A warning kill has to be flashy. Turn a five-story building into a four-story one before. Oh! <laughs> you can control an explosion to destroy just one floor? A oh, frightening. I wonder if she's the ultimate assassin. So what? It's rare to be the flash it's rare to be that flashy though. Normally disposing one target is enough. Hey! So what kind of people have you assassinated? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, uh, I only know about assassinations from movies and stuff, so... I see. This will probably disappoint you, but I don't kill only bad people. Because? I kill anyone on my order's list. It doesn't matter what, who the person is. Hmm. It's supposed to just the way it is. I see. I also had to dispose of people who I knew well. Huh? Uh-huh. Like who? Okay. Friends from school. Oh! Huh? Oh boy! Friends, why would you have to do that? Well... I thought of Yaku as a leader. She was a child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. Child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. Must be a different daughter of Yaku as a leader. Must be a different daughter of a different Yaku as a leader. Because the one that I'm thinking of, I don't think that was her. My father loved her very much, which is why she was seen as, a dang as dangerous. Yakuza elites decided to have her removed in case rival groups used her. Wait! What? But she didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Yeah, but it is uh, ordered. I suppose you had to, yeah. Hmm. I suppose you had to. That's true. Yeah. That's when I realized this would be my life now. I heard them calling it an act of God. I don't believe in that. I also don't intend to blame it on anyone else. Well... I may think it's unreasonable to kill someone on the account of other people, but... Everyone does, everyone does what they can to live. You, me, never not murdered. I kill. But can also be killed. That's all. Oh, the cold and indifferent Maki has been overwhelmed by words. I've never seen that happen before. Couldn't think of anything to say. Oh, that's heavy. It's actually very heavy. Very weighty stuff. Staggering from my way to Maki's story, I return to my room. That was pretty heavy. That was pretty, pretty heavy. <gasps> workout! Yeah, are we gonna work out? Are we? Bang, 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 bang. That pole in the back with the Monokuma sticker, that seems kind of new. Is that just me? This is an announcement! This is an official announcement for, uh... What's this place called again? Hmm? What time is it right now? I forgot. Hey! Actually, have, have those been alone? I forgot that too. Ooh. Can't remember. I feel like I used to have someone very important to me. I can't remember. Monotaro! Oh, I knew it. He's helpless without me. Poor Monotaro. Oh, that's where the thing was placed. It really it was like a like a street pole. She's coming up behind it. So cliche. It's so cliche. All right, time to go training. Kaito and Maki should be in the courtyard. Let's go. Let's do some training. Do this. Oh, Tsumiki's out here. And Kibo. Anybody else? Not in particular. Kibo. Oh, another door. Whoops. Want to Kibo here? Shuichi! What's the matter? I recommend that you return to your room, as the nighttime announcement just played. Okay. Yeah, after I'm back. I'll head straight back. Yeah. Please do. Another murder could occur if you're out of your room at night. I guess. That's right. I don't want to think about the killing game starting up again. 
Kiji said all those unsettling things earlier. That's right. Kaito may have silenced him at the time, but I can't imagine Kichi being so easily swayed. But... Kichi's never serious. That's probably all his... All, all, all his idea of a joke, right? Hmm... He may have been joking. He may have been serious too. It's very difficult to... to it's very difficult to determine the sincerity of his statements. Remember! I never had any idea what he's thinking. Also makes him dangerous. Yeah. Either way, we should not let our guard down. Another murder should, uh, should not occur as long as we stay all vigilant. Yeah! Let's do our best. Okay, sounds good. Uh, is a point talking to Tsumigi now? Probably should still. Um, what are you doing, Tsumigi? Uh? Chuichi, nothing really. That's my play when I was going back to my room. Jeez. Would have been funny if they just told us the time. They have to be. Why do they have to be so melodramatic? Hmm. I don't know, but it's definitely too much. That is not funny. I'm more concerned about the moral implications. Aren't the Monica siblings? But then... Please stop! How could they have such an appropriate relationship with each other? <laughs> oh, they're, they've been watching what's going on on television as well, haven't they? No. Monica Cubs are bears, right? I don't think if human morals... I don't think if human morals apply to them. Or actually, I guess that robot's not bears. That's robophobic. Oh my god, it's not robophobic. Come down, Kibo. So you're also robophobic, Sumigi. Hey now! We're the one who brought it up, Kibo. Per persecution complex is a bit over the top. It is, a little bit. He does have strong beliefs. But he is pretty, uh... He is a uh, very... Uh, mm. I don't want to say vehement because that's not the word I want to use. He's very adamant about saying people are robophobic. What's going on, Kaito? Hmm. Kaito, what's wrong? Did you have to go to the bathroom again? Nope. He's been like this because of what happened. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Nah. No, I'm fine. My stomach just hurts, it's all... Hey, for the day's training, instead of exercising. Huh. How about the three of us just talk? Huh? What? Talk? About what? Idiot. Stupid. Nobody decides what they talk about before they start. Let's go find somewhere to sit. Had to pick a random spot in the courtyard. We all sat down. Okay. Just hanging out together. Chilling and hanging out together and talking. Is it a serious talk or... So what are we gonna talk about? Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? Come on, man, that was just a joke. Uh, uh, right. Then, let's talk about Maki. Me? What about me? You know, like, general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. For example, what blood type do you like? What blood type do you- what? What blood type do I like? Don't you mean- What's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> Is it okay? Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. Then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? Well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. Ah, uh, really? Sorry. It's not that bad. All right then, let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. I grew up in an orphanage. There we go. Hmm? I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Maki slowly began to tell us a story. <gasps> oh. At the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Aww, all the kids were attached to her. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. For some reason, kids like me. But I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Nope. It's not a matter whether it suits me or not. I've had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose? <sighs> When I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play, but the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? They were scouting for talents? And that's where you were picked? Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go. That was the beginning of hell. Ever since that day, 
I trained to become an assassin. Holy shit. She had a rough life. Holy fuck. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. I mean, if you look at all the panels on the bottom right, just some sleeping like some sort of thin mat or something. Looks like she's cold. On top right, she has been trained with a knife fight or something. For killing somebody on the bottom left. Oof. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. Oh. So that's the kind of leverage they built here. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day and cried every night. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Eventually, I got used to it. Damn. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think about that all the time. Monkey sighed deeply after being after burying her soul. Holy hell. <sighs> That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Uh, okay. Interesting. No, Maki, that was the burden you've been carrying all this. Ah. Jeez, I carried too many burdens for someone so small. You know. Well, I could say the same to Shuichi. Uh, um. Really? Listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, then you'll be stronger. <laughs> oh, if Makiro was able to talk this much, I mean, she got a bit stronger already. That's true. Might be thanks to the training. Got it. Well, obviously. My training is based on a systematic method. Uh, um. That's kind of vague. That is a little. We spent a long time uh, talking about whatever came up to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversations, but. Might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place. To protect my friends. And to reveal the truth of this academy. And to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I had to keep my friends alive. Oh. Wow, that's actually really inspirational. Ooh, what's happening here? Hi, hello! Here's white half sister, they're fresh them. Here's white halves. Wait. His wives. His white halves whiter than freshly made rice. His blacks have blacker than a darkest night. Did you call for me? It's Mana Mana Monokuma. Hmm. Oh, okay. You actually king. Hmm. I guess I'm a lot. I guess I'm a lot to do this, huh? <laughs> Whoa. The fuck? Is it okay for me to talk to you in private, this, like this? Yeah. Technically, it's not a rule violation. So I can pass up opportunity to, to make this killing game more exciting. Right. I was thinking the same thing. It's fun and. Uh, <clears throat> this fun of vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind. And another thing. With that said, I'm not even gonna try to use that motive. You really don't get it. Crazy motive like this shouldn't be used in a more dramatic way, you know? That's what I've been thinking, so I tried coming up with ways to use it. Well, you know. And I finally came up with an idea. So this is my proposal. A certain someone is planning something interesting. So if, if you use the motive there, <laughs> then I think it will really spice up the game. So are you in? You really are an evil bastard. Yeah. Of course I am. The ultimate supreme leader, you know. Let's have more fun. What the fuck? Okay, that's a face I've never seen of Kokichi. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy fuck. I will drag this world into the pits of terror using my villainous power to commit evil. Oh, fuck. That was terrifying, dude. That was some spoopy shit. Oh, do you get it? Do you get that? Look closely. The flames, the electricity, in a streak, perfectly separate from each other, in lines. The kid in the jacket, all men with the controller and gray hair. 
back to the future. That is clever. That is actually really clever. Can't trust that it's honest meant to be dishonest. It's the honest ones you wanna watch out for. Because you can never predict what they're gonna do something incredibly stupid. It's honestly easier to go through life without telling a single lie. Which means honest people are just lazy jerks and rather cuss coast through life. By the way, recent trend of encouraging honesty is actually a lie. You see, better for lies uh, if there are more honest people in the world to deceive. They'd be lying about the trends so they can be more stupid honest people. But that might be a lie too. <laughs> I can't do the laughter whatsoever. I can't do the uh, the laughter whatsoever for Monokuma. I'm sorry. Maybe one day that could have, I was able to do that someday, but not anymore. But damn, the Maki thing was... Ha! Oh, ha! Oh. Actually... Oh. Official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. What did you run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. <laughs> That's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with that. Don't worry! Maybe not today, but Sunday. I'm gonna be happy to you. Monotaro! Oh, boy, what's going on here? Darling, what's the matter? Mana funny. Funny. I finally remember. Ooh. I need you, Mana Fanny. I. Take me in, huh? I don't want to hurt you more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Hey. Hey, why are you silly man? Yeah? Huh? Eh? Monotaro. Oh my goodness, your body's coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Hey. Come here, I'll see you back up. <laughs> Thank you, Mana Fanny. Thank you. <laughs> why are you crying? That's, that's so not like you. The end. Is this finally done for the announcements, or is that just just the announcement? That's it. The hell kind of ending was that? That was way too long for an announcement. Well, well, I need to get to the dining hall. I guess that's all we can do for now. How much we can do at this point? Well, I guess we go ahead and head up to the dining hall. A bit around here. Nope, nothing. I'm not sure if they're gonna do multiple bonus events per chapter. So far, they didn't seem to be doing that. Is it doing chapter 3? I don't know if they did or didn't. But anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is actually talk to uh, Kaito real quick, see what he's up to before I head inside. Um, Good morning, Kaito. Oh. oh hey, bro. Perfect timing. Can I get your opinion on something? Huh? Or what? I mean... It's about our training. Like I said before, our training is best on a systematic method. But I feel like something is missing. Uh, um... You do? I've only done setups and push-ups so far. That's right. Even if I don't need it myself, in order for you two to grow. I feel like we should add something like martial arts or some kind of mental training. Ah! Now that you mention it, I do have a practice sword. Another event? Oh boy, hold on, is this? Good idea. Practice with us would be great training exercise. Alright, let's not wait till night. We're gonna do the special training as soon as possible. Do you actually go with Kaito? Sure, yeah. Alright, I got it. Alright! It's decided. I'll bring back your roll, so let's meet at the usual place. But first breakfast, I'll see you there. Haha, -ha, look at that. Look at that, and we got a new event. And what's happening behind here? Give me a sec, I see on the minimap somebody's back here. What are they doing? Who's back here? Gonta. Hey, Gonta, what you doing, my man? What you doing, buddy? Hey! Come out! Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta! Gonta! What's wrong? Are you looking for someone? Oh! Good morning, Shuichi. Going to not look for person. Going to looking for tiny bug. Hmm. Yes, I was wondering about that. Have you found any? Hmm. We're going to know we can find him. We're going to see him lots of times. So going to pretty sure if not mistake. Hmm. I see. But going to happy. Shuichi love bugs so much. Huh? I don't like bugs that much. Huh? You hate bugs, Shuichi? Wait. No, no, no. I love them. Going to. I said it before, right? You right? Oh yeah. You good person. So of course you like bugs. Allow Gonta. I feel like me personally, I would not get along with Gonta because as soon as I see a spider, I'll freak and flip and probably kill it, and then Gonta will probably kill me. Gonta would do to me what I would do to a spider. Smack, whap, <laughs> right up on a wall. All right, gonna go find Tiny Bug for Shuichi, no matter what it take. Look forward to it. Um, it's okay. It's no use. Let's take a chill thinking about the insect meat greed. Ugh. If I was in that, oh, dude, I would have flipped shit. I can't believe uh, Shuichi and everybody else survived for that long with insect meat and greed. That was insane. No, that's too, that's too many bugs to deal with. That is too many bugs to deal with. Anyway, 
I guess we can head over inside the school building. I should probably be wrapping up here in a little bit because I do have a stream coming up and I gotta prepare for. But before we do that, let's at least go through here. Hi, Himiko. How you doing, girl? Oh. Good morning, Himiko. Yeah. It's you, Shuichi. This morning was very unfortunate. Huh? Something happened? Hmm. What are you saying? Monica's drama ended. Ah. My tower awakened to love. Like a new development, but it was over the next day. So you're really looking forward to that, huh? Okay. But maybe it was going to turn out that Mona Fanny had a baby in her stomach. How about that? Actually be the child not actually be the child of one of the dead Mona Cubs. Uh. That's not the kind of melodramatic tw uh, twist and turns I expected. But I'm not sure it would be much fun watching a melodrama like that. Yeah? No no, this is typical daytime soap opera stuff. Make sure you burn the ropes, then bang, zoom. What the hell is she talking about? You're right. Well, it's already over, so that's that. That's right. Throwing in my regret and moving forward. That's my new way to life. Okay. Miko, do you know a lot about soap operas? Maybe she did. Maybe she's a fan. Who knows? But I am surprised that Shuisha was not the only one paying attention to the entire soap opera. Kibo, Tsumigi, and Himiko were also paying attention to that. Interesting, that's actually kind of cool, because as far as I understood, nobody really gave a crap about what's happening in the morning announcements. It feels like just Shuichi gave a crap, but now they're all shared in watching the melodrama together. Nevertheless, however, I do need to wrap up around here and set up for a stream and everything, So, but I want to thank you so much for joining us here for this stream, or not the stream, this is not a stream, this is just a recording. Someday this is going to be turned into a stream. I don't know, I think it would be kind of cool to stream the uh, the side events and stuff. Like do it live and record it live and stuff, and like chat interaction and everything. I think, excuse me, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that actually would be pretty cool. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up around here. Thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. My name is Samuel, like, subscribe, subscribe today, and I'll see you all next episode of Danganronpa 3.3. And we continue, chapter 4. Chapter 4. Is that how you pronounce it? Anyway, see ya. One.